वॉट्स गोइंग ऑन गाइज दिस इज आमिर हुसैन एंड यू आर वॉचिंग ट्रिक आई नो यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू माई ब्रांड न्यू ट्वेंटी सेवन इंच एल जी मॉनिटर दिस मॉनिटर इज अ ट्रू फोर के मॉनिटर एच डी आर मॉनिटर यू एस बी टाइप सी मॉनिटर इट हैव नाइनटी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ एस आर जी बी आई पी एस पैनल इट्स गुड फॉर गेमिंग एंड इट्स बेस्ट फॉर वीडियो एडिटिंग पर्पज एंड द मेन फीचर ऑफ दिस मॉनिटर इज इट नीड्स टू मैन टू लिफ्ट This video is not sponsored by LG. This is my personal choice for my profession for my YouTube videos. So if you are thinking to buy a new 27 inches monitor, here I am going to show you the in-depth review of my monitor so you can decide which monitor is best for you. So without any further ado, let's jump into the video. So here my friends it's time to unbox that monitor let's see what's inside the box So I opened it from back and here are the accessories first of first we have a nice metallic curved stand for the monitor here how it looks it's fully made of metal it's a great stand with unique design In the back we have a thumb screw and some holding rubbers on the stand which allows you to hold the monitor on the table by the accidental slides more we have this giant power adapter it's a 19 volt 7.37 ampere adapter and it comes with a really long wire the pretty good thing about this it comes in white color this is the power cord provided with the monitor it's a us plug based on the united states electricity boards for other country you can use a tiny adapter like this it's cheap and it can be easily found on any electronic stores especially in india you can use this more we have a decent hdmi cable and a decent usb type c cable a antique looking cable holder instruction manual and dvd which we don't need here is our main thing the hydraulic stand which allows you to adjust height tilt or rotate the monitor here how smooth it works like that so we nothing left on the upper container of this box now the next thing is our main guy the 27 inch hdr ips monitor let me show you here it is it's so big and heavy and i can't properly hold it oh man it's too heavy i can't show you in this frame guys because it's a two man lift now welcome to the setup part guys we have to assemble these beautiful accessories to the monitor but before we go on let's have a closer look in the bottom side of this monitor we have two stereo speakers and one joystick to control across the menus so that was the right speaker and here is the left one now in the back side we have the option to mount this monitor on the wall in the same place we can also add our hydraulic stand next we have these input panels and a great lg branding So here is our hydraulic stand. Here is a quick tutorial to install it. First lay down the monitor to the table and hold your stand like this. Then insert the exposed area of the stand on those two holes and press it like this. And the good thing is this is not permanent. You can also remove it if you decided to mount it on the wall. Okay now we attached the stand now it's time to attach the bottom base all you have to do just insert the bottom base like this there is a thumb screw to tight the base to the stand but if you don't want to hurt your thumb you can use a screw driver instead now the final thing you have to do you have to put the cable holder to the stand like this so here our setup part is completed now our monitor is ready you can connect it with pc playstation xbox anywhere you want playstation or xbox pc oh!
Now jump into the hardware specifications. The design of the LG monitors I always like, especially the bezel-less edge of the monitor is great. I also like the stand base of this monitor. This is pretty good looking stand base and the hydraulic stand is also great as well as. And if you are willing to put this monitor on a center table, you will see a great LG branding from the back of the monitor. Cable management will look also decent because of the white color, especially if you are putting this monitor on a white table. The minimum height of this monitor is 17.5 inches, from you can lift it up to 21.8 inches. So here you can adjust your monitor height according to your comfortability. Like all general monitors, you can also tilt your monitor like this according to your visual angle. More than lifting up your monitor, you can also rotate your monitor to the 90 degrees. Then the height will be 27 inches from the surface. So if you are willing to put this monitor in a compact area, note down these measurements before purchasing the monitor. For input we have two HDMI ports, DB port and one USB type C port. You can add external speaker or headphone to the monitor and here are two USB 3.0 ports which is going to work if you are using a USB type C cable. In my PC there is a USB type C port but I can't use it as a display output because I have an old GTX 1060 graphic card plugged in this PC. So I am going to use the standard HDMI cable for my video input and I am going to use the power cable for the power input. But if you still want to use those USB ports, just plug the USB Type-C cable along with the HDMI cable and plug both cables to your PC. Then the monitor will receive the display signal from the GPU and the USB 3 ports will work with the USB Type-C cable. So without having a USB Type-C GPU, you can still use those USB ports. You can connect your smartphone and you can connect your storage devices directly to the monitor. So guys, the monitor is all set up. Now it's time to dive into the features. This is a true 4K monitor. It comes with the resolution of 3840 into 2160. So the first thing I did, I downloaded a 4K gaming wallpaper and set it on the desktop, which looks very great and sharp on this monitor. It's also a 4K UHD HDR monitor with the 400 nits of brightness which provides unbelievable picture quality in movies and also in games. The first movie I watched in this monitor is Tenet in 10-bit 4K HDR quality and I really very impressed with the brightness and contrast in the HDR mode. And after watching this movie, I got reversed. Now check out some 4K HDR videos from YouTube. This is very impossible to capture it from a camera but in real with the naked eyes you will see the very clear and crisp images out of this monitor. Now take a closer look to the menus of this monitor which can be accessible by the joystick button right here. It can be closed by the same button, tilting the joystick button to left or right. You can easily adjust the volume of the monitor. This will very handy if you are using an external speaker directly connected to the monitor. Now let's deep dive into the menus. Here are the quick settings to adjust brightness, contrast and color temperatures. You can set the temperature at warm, medium and cool, even you can set it manually. You can set it max at 10,000 kelvins and minimum 5,000 kelvins. Next here we have input settings, you can manage your input devices. Now come to the picture mode. Here you can see there are variety of picture modes. In the list we have vivid mode, HDR effect mode, reader mode, here the cinema mode. And here is the first person shooting game mode and here is the RTS settings. 
color weakness mode is also available in this monitor here's the ebu and here is the rec 709 this is for watching and editing the c log video files well we are talking about the c log recently i bought my dream camera it's a canon eos r6 mirrorless camera it does record 4k at the rate of 60 frames and it also records hdr videos which is a good thing for me i can easily color grade the footage and also i can monitor the footage in hdr mode to see a perfect color accuracy c log settings are also available in this camera so this monitor is going to completely change my production level now next in the menus we have super resolution you can set it to high middle and low you can adjust the black level of the monitor while gaming you can set it to high or low according to your gaming environment. In game adjust menu, you can change your response time. We have AMD Radon free sync settings here. You can set it to basic or extended mode, which will reduce the tearing in the games. But if you are using a Nvidia GPU, you will need a DP cable to use the Radon free sync on Nvidia cards. Moreover, in the menus, we have black stabilizer. This feature is also useful for gaming. Next we have 4 gamma modes. Here we have an antique 6 color mode. I don't know where it can be going to be used but it's still in this monitor. More we have sound settings and rest we have these general settings. Language, power setting, power LED, automatic standby, buzzer, etc. Even you can reset your all settings. You can also control those settings by using the official LG app and also you can do split screen as well as. Now welcome to the main feature, it have IPS panel with 99% of sRGB colors which makes this monitor a best editing monitor. It allows the photo editor to edit the image correctly. First thing this is a 4K monitor with higher resolution which provides the sharpest images out there. Then the 99% sRGB IPS panel provides you the accuracy of color correction and uh, color grading stuffs like that. The same thing applies on the video editing also. You can now properly color correct your video footage and also if you are making cinematic videos and b-rolls stuffs like that this monitor will help you to color grade your footage as well as in addition you are getting a very long timeline in video editor which will change the speed of the productivity as a video editor i always needed a long timeline to edit my youtube videos here is my old 24 inch lg monitor which is a full hd ips panel monitor i edited all my youtube videos from last four years on this monitor but sometime working with multiple layers i feel i am getting very low space for editing on those scenarios so i was needed the bigger space and this is what i got from this 4k high resolution monitor even the video you are watching is all edited on my new 4k monitor now welcome to the gaming section of this video let's see how gaming performs in this monitor so this is a hdr monitor and luckily in 2021 there are lots of games which allows you to play games in high dynamic range here is the one of those games assassin's creed odyssey here you can see the game is running in 4k with the native resolution of 3840 into 2160 and here is the option for hdr settings now I'm going to turn on the HDR mode. It's turned on guys. Now let's see a quick gameplay. Again here the camera not captures the screen so well but you can guess how the quality is. You can see the color of sky. The blue color is highlighted. You can also see this bright environment. You can see a little bit of tearing because I am not using the Radon FreeSync. Unfortunately right now I don't have any DP cable to connect on my Nvidia card. I will show you in my future videos. But Nvidia users you can just use the in-game VSync option to avoid any type of tearings. 
So mostly the tearing can be seen in these type of in-game cinematics. Now let's see how the in-game vSync helps. Here the vSync is turned on and now you can see the tearing are gone and the cinematic is running so smooth and clear. So guys this was how the HDR game performs with this monitor. In my experience I think this is a great advantage of this monitor to play the games in high dynamic range. Mostly I like the contrast of the HDR mode. This is very bright, rich and very eye catching to user. Tell me in the comment section how much you like the HDR gaming experience on this monitor. Now check out some other gaming features. Basically this monitor is not made for competitive gaming. It have only the 60Hz of refresh rate and 5ms response time. However there are some options to enhance gaming experience. One of them is the black level. It allows you to see the enemy from a far range in this type of situations. In free time I mostly play only one game that is Fortnite. I am not a good player but uh, I know how much a response time is important for these battle royal games. A small mistake and game over. As I said earlier you can adjust the response time in the menus if you put it to faster you will achieve a fast response time. So for general gaming this monitor is a good gaming monitor also. Now let's see a quick gameplay so you can guess the quality and the response time of the game. One more thing guys, switching from the HD monitor to 4K monitor there is not any impact on gaming because just we are upgrading the resolution. So here you can see my game is running very smooth with GTX 1060 graphic card and with the Intel Core i7-7700K processor. With the high resolution I am seeing very sharper and clear image of the game which improves your aiming in these type of battle royale games. Now here is a, another feature SDR to HDR. You can watch any SDR movies in high dynamic range on this monitor and not only movies you can watch any content in HDR. To do such you need to do in Windows 10 right click on the desktop and go to display settings then turn on HDR from here. It will take a second to switch to the HDR mode and here it is. You can see all the content of this monitor is changed, the desktop wallpaper, icons, everything and here how the movie looks. My camera is not capturing well but you can see the bright colors on the monitor. Now I will switch the effects two times so you can guess and differentiate between the normal mode and the HDR mode. Here we are. So this is the normal mode without the HDR turned on. Now I am going to switch it on back. Now here you can see we are back in HDR mode and look at that bright colors contrast which looks awesome to the SDR movies. If you are not using Windows 10 you can simply turn it on through the monitor menus. Just go to picture mode and select the HDR effect. This will even let you play the SDR games in HDR like effect. So guys that was my video on LG 27 inches 4K HDR IPS USB Type-C monitor. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you are willing to buy this monitor, the link is in the description. 
If you have any questions, you are free to ask in the comment section. And if you really enjoyed this video, hit that like button and share this video with your friends and family. And if you are new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button with the bell icon. So for now, I'm signing out. See you in my next videos.